chapter 10. Then I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven, surrounded by a cloud, with a rainbow over his head. His face shone like the sun, and his feet were like pillars of fire, and in his hand was a small scroll which he had unrolled. He stood with his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land, and he gave a great shout like the roar of a lion. And when he shouted, the seven thunders answered. When the seven thunders spoke, I was about to write, but a voice from heaven called to me, Keep secret what the seven thunders said, and do not write it down. Then the mighty angel standing on the sea and on the land lifted his right hand to heaven, and he swore an oath in the name of the one who lives forever and ever, who created heaven and everything in it, the earth and everything in it, and the sea and everything in it. He said, God will wait no longer, but when the seventh angel blows his trumpet, God's mysterious plan will be fulfilled. It will happen just as he announced it to his servants, the prophets. Then the voice from heaven called to me again, Go and take the unrolled scroll from the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I approached him and asked him to give me the little scroll. Yes, take it and eat it, he said. At first it will taste like honey, but when you swallow it, it will make your stomach sour. So I took the little scroll from the hands of the angel and I ate it. It was sweet in my mouth, but it made my stomach sour. Then he said to me, You must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, languages, and kings.